it's hard to fathom how large this olive grove is. I mean, it feels like the trees just go on and on and on. How many trees do you have here at yeah, Cosm Estate? It's certainly very large. It's actually one of the largest olive groves in the world. We have over two and a half million trees. And we actually produce about 70% of the total amount of Australian olive oil. The three extra virgin olive oils that I always have in my pantry are robust, classic and light. What's the difference? Very similar to wines. It's mainly on the varieties. Different varieties of olives will give you different styles of oil. A bit like the light will be similar to a Sauvignon Blanc and the robust will be more like a heavy big red Shiraz, and the classic is almost like the Pinot Noir, sits yeah. in the middle as a bit of an old rounder. Yeah. Tell me about how these gorgeous olives get from this tree to our bottles. Well, certainly we're not doing it by hand. Not anymore. Back <laughs> not in anymore. the days they did. Uh, it, it would take us uh, a, a long time and a lot of people to be able to do it. You know, fortunately, we developed uh, mechanical harvesters that, similar to what happens with wines, can be picked very quickly. We're doing about a minute every tree, and wow. the fruit goes directly from here, from the grove, straight to the meal. It's always been a dream of mine to cook amongst olive groves, and I'm pretty lucky here at Cobram Estate Olive Grove. It's harvest season, and to celebrate that, I thought I would cook a gorgeous whole Murray Cod. The Murray River is not far from here, and this Murray Cod comes from Acuna Sustainable Fisheries. I love Murray Cod, but before I prepare the fish, I have been grilling some vegetables over here. Capsicum tomato to get a lovely charred flavour, and this is going to be the salt for the fish. Now all of this blackened skin is going to be removed but it does impart a really lovely earthy flavour and that's what I want for my salsa. So the best way to get the skin off is just to get yourself some cling film, cover that up while they're still piping hot and we'll just pop that to the side while it steams and we'll remove the skins later on. Now for the Murray Cod. This is a 1.8 kilogram Murray Cod. It is so beautiful and fresh. You can tell it's fresh because it's got a nice clear eye and it doesn't smell too fishy. That's a key indication of a good quality fish. I've got this wonderful little fish basket and it's just going to help grill on the barbecue without sticking. And we do need to start by seasoning and oiling the fish. So I'm going to be using the Light Cobram Extra Virgin Olive Oil, a really good quality Australian olive oil. I love it because it does have that mild, grassy flavour and when you are cooking on the barbecue, that's all you need for the fish. So a good glug of oil on both sides, massage it into the fish, turn it over and another teaspoon or so, drizzle that on and I'll just pop that on one side while I prepare a lemon. So just one lemon that I'll finely slice and this is going to perfume the fish from the inside out. Okay, that should be plenty. Really lovely touch to char grilled fish. So we'll pop that into the cavity and a generous amount of salt on the skin and then inside. And that's as simple as it is. When it comes to fish that is this fresh, you really want to celebrate it by just keeping it quite simple but making a glorious sauce to go on the side of it. We'll close that and then onto the barbecue. Nice hot barbecue. Oh, it's a nice little sizzle there. And that's going to cook for about five minutes on each side. The timing really depends on how hot your barbecue is and how large your fish is. So just keep an eye on it. And I tell you what, that fish basket is going to make such a difference. It is not going to stick at all. OK, another component to this dish is a piri piri style sauce. So lots of really good quality extra virgin olive oil, garlic, chilli and a few extra things. We'll start with three cloves of garlic, nice fat cloves, and I'll just bruise them. And some ginger. Just want to finely slice the ginger. And two chilies. Now it depends how hot you want this. I want this to have a little bit of guts to it. So I'm adding the bird's eye chilies and I'm leaving the seeds in. If you want it to be milder, use one or you could use the long chilies for this. So we'll just roughly chop them. This is all going to be crushed in the mortar and pestle later on. So you don't have to be pedantic with the chopping of this. It goes straight into a pot. The key here is not to overcook this because you just want it to gently bubble away. A few more things in here, some dried oregano, some smoked paprika and some sugar to balance everything out and some vinegar. So just classic white vinegar for this recipe. 
And now for the extra virgin olive oil. Now this Cobram olive oil is a robust extra virgin olive oil. This fresh new season harvest is peppery. It's fantastic for a sauce like this. And you do want quite a lot of it because it makes up the sauce. So onto a medium to low heat on the barbecue while the fish is cooking, while our sauce is just gently warming up over there, I can prepare the capsicum and tomato. I'll just simply peel the skins off and look how easy they come off. And that's because we've charred them and then we've just steamed them. And it's okay if there's a little black on there because that's extra flavour. You just don't want too much though. So I'll continue doing this while we wait for our beautiful fish to finish cooking. Fish is looking good, it's not far off. And look at this gorgeous olive oil. See how it's completely stained from all that paprika. Now, usually I would blend this until it's nice and smooth, but I have a mortar and pestle, so this also works a treat. And I'm just going to use a slotted spoon to take out the solid bits. And we want to crush that first until it's nice and smooth. Okay, this sauce is looking good. The last thing we need to add is a really good pinch of salt to season it and just allow that to mix in and let's get the fish off the barbecue. Oh, have a look at this. Is this not a thing of beauty? And now to get it onto the platter, which is always a very interesting thing to do, but I think the best way to do that is to grab yourself a long, beautiful platter like this one Pop it on top, flip it over. Ah, that's how it's done. <laughs> Isn't it a beautiful fish? Now, if you're in an olive grove like this, of course you want to decorate the plate with some olive branches. Just pop that around like so. And to finish this off in our bowl here of the capsicum tomato, I will add some of this sauce. And when I say some, a really big spoonful. You want to mix it in together. And I've done them separate because I like the two textures, that smooth sauce with the chunky style of the capsicum tomato. It just works so nicely together. Give that a stir. And we'll just pop this straight onto that crispy skin of the fish. Just in that cavity area. Be generous with this. It's always such a pleasure to cook on the barbecue, but when you cook with fantastic fresh produce like this Murray Cod and really good quality fresh extra virgin olive oil, that's all you need. That is an absolute winner.